What you are looking at is very hot bubbling water, which was recently spotted rising from the ground in a neighborhood a little more than 10 miles south of the city of Reno. This does not represent a burst pipe, but instead something natural, a geothermal feature that has popped up in the center of a 10 foot long crack in the ground. In fact, this feature is being called by several news outlets as the world's newest geyser. These features recently and suddenly appeared within a little volcanic field called the Steamboat Hills, a series of rhyolite domes and basaltic andesite lava flows that has not erupted for 1.14 million years, but still contains a large number of geothermal features. And while the heat source for the system is the matter of some debate, with some believing it is tectonic, I personally interpret these features to be powered by a cooling body of ancient, perhaps million-year-old magma at approximately 1.6 kilometers or 1 mile depth. While bubbling hot geothermal water is indeed rising several inches from the ground, the lack of a cyclical pattern of eruptions means what you are looking at is not technically a geyser. These geyser-like features, including boiling springs, fumaroles, and hot water seeps, appeared in their current form in November 2023, but had been observed slowly forming and expanding since at least spring of 2022. The main boiling spring itself is located within an older fissure in the center terrace and represents a reactivation of some of these surface geothermal features after many years of inactivity. Although it may not be common knowledge today, the Steamboat Springs used to be the third largest geyser field in the entirety of the United States and the eighth largest geyser field on the planet. If you were to have been in this very location in 1863 when Mark Twain visited the area, you would have witnessed 25 active geysers, some occasionally spraying water a whopping 80 feet into the air. While these geysers would continue erupting for decades, a strong earthquake suddenly caused the vast majority of these beautiful features to dry up completely in 1900. However, some scattered hot spring activity continued in the area for some years after, and these hot springs were unusually rich in gold, silver, mercury, and antimony, depositing quantities of these metals every year. Another bit of interesting geologic activity simultaneously occurring nearby is an ongoing earthquake swarm centered around the part of Reno known as the Monte Range several miles to the northeast. While most of these earthquakes are too small for a person to feel, a total of 342 earthquakes have been detected in the vicinity within a recent 36 day long time span ranging from magnitude 0.1 to 3.5. For comparison, this total is far higher than the number of detectable earthquakes that struck the same region during an entire five-year-long time span ranging the entirety of 2019 all the way up to the beginning of 2024. Because all of what I just described might sound eerily similar to the plot of a well-known 1990s disaster film, let me first alleviate all of your fears and discuss the elephant in the room. Despite this unusual new activity at the Steamboat Springs, in my opinion, it is not going to erupt anytime soon and no volcano is going to suddenly emerge in the middle of a street. I even went out of my way to check from satellite if there was any ground uplift, a common sign of intruding magma, and luckily found none. So, why did geyser-like geothermal features just suddenly reappear after having completely vanished decades ago? I am suggesting two possibilities, neither of which are volcanic. Possibility one is that a series of unusually wet winters, the same one which happened to create a lake in Death Valley, yes, you heard that correctly, combined with decreased groundwater usage in surrounding communities caused the water table to reach such a high level that it began intruding into old pathways. This created a new group of bubbling hot springs and fumaroles. This increase in groundwater would also explain the recent low magnitude earthquakes with heated water causing very small faults to slip at an increased rate. Possibility 2 is that an untapped section of underlying geothermal water just found a path to the surface in a new direction due to random variations that often result in the creation and removal of vents in large geothermal fields. However, I personally believe that the decreased number of regional forms in the last 50 years leading to decreased groundwater usage to be the cause of these features appearing. As a final note, I have purposely not geolocated these new geothermal features as the associated property owners have reached out to me, noting frequent trespassing issues since these geothermal features recently appeared. 
The images and videos of the springs were obtained with permission from the owner. Please do not trespass on private property to view these features and respect existing laws.